And in this demo, we will show how we can use groups of LLM agents or swarms for code generation. We'll showcase some amazing techniques that we can use for A, documentation writing, and B, automated testing. We will feature the use of Python and a little bit of Node.js, but you can adapt these techniques to other programming languages and frameworks, assuming the LLM you're using was trained on sufficient amounts of data. These examples were inspired by two scripts found in the Kai Gomez Swarms repo on GitHub. The first being the auto docs script, and the second being the auto tests script. First, let's take a look at how we can use adapted versions of this auto docs script. Here we have the code for some API powering some web application. Let's now show how we can easily document this code by leveraging LLMs. At the root of this project, you can see we've included an empty scripts folder. Let's now add this amazing script that is going to allow us to easily document this code base. This script allows us to list all of the files in our project that we would like to generate documentation for. We have to define the path for each file, as well as the name of the final generated documentation file that will explain how the code in the file works. The type of documentation we will be generating is called Markdown documentation. Markdown documentation is compatible with many popular documentation site builders, like for example, DocuSaurus or MakeDocs. Here, we can see that for each file, we are sending it in parallel to an LLM agent for processing. This is the prompt that we use to define how each agent in our swarm works. You can see that we are giving each agent the persona of a technical writer with decades of experience. And that we're also including our code as well as some contextual information about the application in which the code sits. Like for example, the overall application schema as well as all of the routes on our API. After each agent has finished processing its file, we will write the final generated markdown into a scratch folder at the root of our project. We can then copy this final markdown into popular documentation site systems like for example, DocuSaurus or MakeDocs. Let's see how this works. First, we run the script. Second, we generate a documentation website using a documentation website builder, like for example, DocuSaurus. TypeScript all day. Third, we copy the generated markdown files into the relevant areas of our documentation website. For DocuSaurus, this is the docs folder. And fourth, we run the documentation website and make sure it works. And here we see our documentation. And honestly, for no effort, this looks amazing. Of course, you're gonna have to refine this generated content and massage how it looks on your documentation site. But as I said, I think this is an amazing technique for generating documentation. We will now show how you can leverage multiple LLM agents, AKA swarms for performing unit testing on your applications. In my experience, leveraging LLMs for this use case rarely goes smoothly, but I still find it worthy of sharing with you as a huge productivity boost. We will be using this fast API project for this demo. And at the root of this project, we have a scripts folder in which we can place utility scripts. Let's add this gen tests script that was adapted from the auto test script found in the Kai Gomez swarms repo on GitHub. We can see this script allows us to list classes in our project for which we would like to generate tests. Each listed class will be sent in parallel to an LLM agent who will read its source code and generate tests for it that are compatible with the PyTest testing framework. Here is the prompt that we're using to define the persona for each agent in our swarm. And you can see we're giving each agent in our swarm the persona of an expert software engineer specialized in writing tests for Python code bases. You can easily tweak this prompt if Python is not your preferred language. Let's now run this gen test script on the most core class of this API, that being the agent class, wink, wink. 
we can see that the LLM has generated some code that appears to be compatible with the PyTest testing framework. Let's flow through the process of how an engineer would use this generated testing file so you understand the overall process being presented in this video. First, you would copy this testing file to the tests folder at the root of the project. This has to do with how PyTest works. Next, we would take a look at this code before running it to make sure it's not doing anything dangerous, quote unquote. For example, it's not gonna delete any files on our computer or do something weird. And after auditing it, we can run it. At this point, we have two options of what we can do. Option one, we can go through and delete all of the failing tests and call it a day. Or two, we can go down the rabbit hole of fixing all of the broken tests until this test suite works exactly how we would like it to. Depending on the nuances of your application, I could see how both approaches could be valid. 